We are moving into a new age, I do say. Yes. How am I going to start this? Oh, this is... Uh, this is not planned. This is straight from my brainerisms. So, I really, 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 really wish for this to happen. Because on the rise, people with autism, they always have other people to take care of them. What does that mean? That means that humans are evolving. Autism is on the rise, but what does that even mean? Like, what even is autism? There's people, like a very long time ago, who has had autism, like 200 years ago. And they didn't really care. So what is autism? That is basically nature's way of telling you to just grow up. Yeah. Not you, the one with autism, but others. That is nature's way of saying enough is enough. We need something new. Because that is what nature does. Birth, death, Birth and death, rebirth and redeath, and all that kinds of stuff. We are evolving. So, what I want for myself, you know, like a dream, like I have a dream, where we could skip all of this unnecessary layers of certifying who you are in order to get a right, you know, your right to be what, wherever you want. Look at all these homeless people. Look at all these people who are just, you know, ending their lives because they don't feel like their, their lives are necessary or something. They feel useless, but they're not. They just want to be in a place that they love. They want to be in a place that they love. And what is this... I forgot my words. <laughs> yeah. What is the point of that? Let me tell you. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay, so in order for you Yeah, that's you. In order for you to live somewhere, you have to go through millions and millions of papers in order to get a home. Right? And people with autism, I'm not just finding like this is what autistic people are, but it's just how we, it is the point of evolution. Something is creeping up and we don't like it. We can just sense that there's something there and it is creeping up. Because we're human. We're not robots in order to just want a goddamn home. So all of this means that you just do not know what you actually want. And this is what I got into my home right now. I don't like it. I don't like it. And when it comes to have another like very important right is to go to somewhere, either I have... just my own personal car or I could take the bus to wherever I want I like the car better because when you have to go to the bus you first have to have like your goddamn smartphone out 
or your credit card in order to get it. And before you can use these things, you have to go through like a lot of papers in order to make sure that your money is there. You know, before you could even use it. But with a car, you could go anywhere. It's just straight up like, if you don't like a place, you can just straight up go to a new home that you want. We humans are nomads. And when it comes to a lot of reading, like uh, when it comes to the, a lot of struggles, when it comes to having to learn math, having to learn this and that before wanting to live, before needing to live. Like, we don't do that. Everybody hates reading books. But a lot of people do like reading books whenever they need it and want it for themselves. They are the ones who choose. You are the one who chooses on how intelligent you want to be in a specific way. So when it comes to this new information age, yeah, that's what I call this, the information age. It's just too much stuff to have on your damn hands in order to just do a simple task like buying a goddamn apple or something. Like, come on. Why do you need so much in order to get a goddamn apple? You need food, right? We humans do not evolve as fast as technology comes to us. That's the thing. So what is all of this? Like, what is all of this? I literally had a seizure when I was going through the self-checkout stuff. I want to buy my food and I go into the checkout and there was this huge row on this flat screen ahead of me and I fainted. And then I woke up in a goddamn ambulance because I just, my brain just could not, it, it just says no, enough is enough. And it happened twice. When I, like, for example, when I bought a vehicle, like a scooter, something like this. Yeah, something like that thing. It needed a goddamn smartphone to activate it. Dude, I bought this damn thing. Why do I need a smartphone? Because I don't have a smartphone. Yes, oh, I'm so old, I'm such an old timer. But I'm only 32 years old. And let me tell you, I'm autistic enough to see what the problem is. Just this huge row of things just to get to what you basically need. Like to get from point A to point B, it just makes me want to have a goddamn horse to ride on. So I so so when it comes to this damn scooter, I called my parents with a very simple phone. Yeah, this thing. It's just a phone to call. It's in physical space, space, three D. Not like going through several goddamn apps in a smartphone in order to fucking call something that is. Simple, right? Done. And then my parents and then my little sister came over here with their smartphones. And then they have to like scan it like, oh. And then I looked 
like what they did, they clicked. They were they were fiddling about it. Even my little sister and my brother, when they go through this far smartphone, they'll be like, oh, "What do I want?" And they're like, "Yeah, you have it with you all the damn time because you are so distracted by this." It is okay. Technology is amazing. It is beautiful and wonderful, but you need to get your shit together. And this is the second time I fainted. They were having their smartphone and then there was like a QR code on it. And there was like a QR code on this goddamn piece of paper in order to activate this damn fucking vehicle that I bought and I wanted to, it to run. And then my brain just shut off and then I fell back and hit my head on the a window counter and got a huge gash in the in the rear of my head and I got to the hospital yet again for a second time and then I have to pay for the hospital bills like I can sense that there's something wrong with this I just just I just sense that there's something that makes us humans just, we're going to become cattle. To something unspeakably evil. And what do I have the solution for this? A new vehicle called a Sertzek. Yeah, I know I already did a video about how to make a Sertzek, but imagine if you had like a like a like an RV, like a recreational vehicle, but it's not recreational. It is actually a necessity for our species survival. And everyone has the right to own this. You are the pilot of your own life. And then back here is all your necessities. Computer. You can stream in your gaming chair or whatever. Kitchen with your nice little choice of bottles. And you can take your home wherever you want. Like for example, if you live in a place that suddenly got your favorite restaurant demolished in order to make way for something that you do not like, or a drink that you cannot get anymore, what are you going to do? Yeah, you just bring your home with you to that other city and just live there instead. Yeah. This is not an RV. This is a wheeled Sertzek. You are a nomad. We humans are nomads. And I'm Swedish, and of course I am <laughs> a descendant of the good old Vikings who want to discover the world instead of shielding themselves in. <laughs> in a in a decrepit place that you do not know how to clean because you get way too distracted about the little nooks and crannies, how about you create your own little place that makes it easier for you to clean, easier for you to shower, easier for you to eat and stay healthy? We humans are nomads. We evolutionarily have done this for like a million years and only suddenly after like what 500 years or so or like 200 years which is nothing compared to how we developed as a species and then this this all this new stuff with this bad technology but there has to be good technology 
because we own it. And we can do whatever the heck we want with it. It's like watching One Piece. <laughs> Where the joy of life is to have fun. Joy Boy. <laughs> I guess. So yeah, you can... Well, like, this is the thing. You can have this vehicle. You enter from the back. And then you, like, walk, be like, oh, I go to get the computer and go to the kitchen, being all like that. Or or the toilet or something that is, like, I guess here or something. Like, this is the stuff that we actually need in the future whenever we're going to go to other planets. An astronaut. Visit other places. Yeah. This is... This is the crossroads. What are you going to do in space? Live with this thing. I really want this. Because I can't fucking function as a normal person with this goddamn condition that I have. Because I just get angry more and more. And I, I just want to tell you this. I just want to tell you this. I want this. I want... A big cool vehicle. Like imagine an RV or like a or, or a Sertzik vehicle with a big spoiler in the back. Or like a, some cool lights that I added myself. And of course, road laws, like blinkers that blink whenever you turn left or right and have like 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 that's that's the thing. It doesn't even have to be looking exactly like this. It could be just like a little bit taller or something like that. And then you have like some lights up here that signify left and right turns or whatever. And then you, you are the captain of your own life. And then you sit there in this chair and it's just like, oh, look at me. Aren't I cool? Yeah, of course you are because you are always awesome. That's what you are. You are you're a human being that deserves uh, uh, the world being open for you. Because I have trouble, you know, actually getting a goddamn car. When I get a car, I'm going to buy a van. I'm going to buy a van and turn that into my home. And not only that, I am going to make sure that this van has, like, also, like, pl a plumbing system... Like for like a shower or something like like getting all the um, like I go to like um, like a recycling station or something and I fucking pour out all the poop water into like a hole or something like it, basically the van itself pisses into like something yeah isn't that funny and there's like a little bit of trash there maybe a little bit of a turd or some shit I don't know yeah something like that. That is awesome. That I want that. I really want that. I really want this in my life. I'm 32 years old and I had enough. I want this. I want a Podrigos. Wait, didn't I say Sertzik? It's a Podrigos. It's a Podrigos. Podrigos. Yes. A, a, a Podrigos Sertzik. Sertzik, Sertzik Podrigos. Yes, that is going to be so amazing. And I can invite people here to have a little bit of a drink with me on this sofa right here. And watch a movie on the screen that's on the, on the side. You know, all that kind of stuff. And then I can go to my computer that uh, goes to the screen that is on the other side. Yeah, uh, like, uh, you know, f flashing up some cool videos and things. Now that would be damn cool, wouldn't it? I was like, yeah, you want to you wanna look some, at some Netflix? Yeah. While we're going to another place in the world, because, god damn it, the world is open for you. The world is open for you. And somehow we are not exploiting it at our most fullest.
and society itself has become solidified in some kind of dystopian future where they do not care for what we actually are. We are humans. And we hate flies. Irritating little shits. If I had this, I would definitely have it as clean as I could ever could make any life away from pests and live in comfort without dying from dementia, depression, and all the cancer shit that I think is the cause of what we actually have now. We are human, and we need this. Potergos Sertsek. Sertsek Potergos. Whatever you call it. I actually want this. Not just for me, but for everybody else, so we can hang out together instead of going through billions of papers in order to actually fucking meet each other. We need help. We need help. I need help. <laughs>